Hey everyone, it's Valerie from Stampin' with Valerie. I hope you are having a fantastic Tuesday. This is my update Tuesday post, and I hope you are ready to just watch a super simple, I can't even tell you how simple this card is, simple stamping using the Gather Together stamp set. Now today Stampin' Up shared a photo and I forgot to print a picture of it, but they used a different stamp set, but it had the um, big leaf in it. And I can't remember that stamp set that has all the big leaves in it. I can't remember the name. Oh, let me look it up. But they used that stamp set and they made it with the same ink color. They did one ink color. And the fantastic thing is the card was just gorgeous. The only thing they did different was for their sentiment. They did a thank you sentiment. And I'm going to, I've got the catalog here and I'm going to find it. I think it's Love of Leaves. It's on page 49. That would be the stamp set they used. But the, I don't have that stamp set. So we're going to use Gather Together so I can use that big maple leaf. Yeah. They used this stamp set and they used this leaf right here. So anyway, if you have that stamp set, you can recreate this using that stamp set. If not, Go ahead and find something that's similar, which is what I did. I just used the gather together. Now, when you see my card underneath, it's underneath the stamp set. Don't laugh too hard because my sentiment is a little crooked, but I'm hoping it won't be crooked when I make this card. How pretty is that? But how simple. So this is something that you can make and send off as a thank you card, uh, a Thanksgiving card. You can even add some little um, gems to it if you want to, but theirs was just ink, paper, and then they had a ribbon tied around. So that's what I wanted to do today. So we're going to start with a piece of Whisper White for the inside, and then we've got a Sahara Sand card base. This is one of my favorite colors for um, my neutrals. Favorite neutral, I guess is what I should say. And we're going to use two ink colors on this card. We're going to use Cajun Craze and Bermuda Bay. Now, you wouldn't think these two look good together, but they really actually look cute. I think they went well together. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp that large maple leaf, and we're going to stamp it first with full strength ink. And what that means is we're going to ink it up like I just did and then stamp. And then for stamping this second one, so you can see where it's a little bit darker where I went off the edge and I didn't, there's no ink on the paper, but I'm gonna stamp off and just stamp that second one, just half strength. Then go ahead and ink it up again because you're gonna wanna stamp another full strength one, kind of not even quite all the way on the paper. And then use that part that doesn't have the full strength ink again and stamp just a little another little leaf and then again you're just going to ink that thing up again and I just stamped a little tiny bit up here at the top with the full strength and then I stamped one more time just stamp it off and then I stamped another half strength one there so you have just a little bit more leaf coming out right here now right here at the bottom where it looks kind of bare because you've got that lighter color leaf just ink up a little bit of that leaf and just hit that corner with it and then you're done with the leaf other than stamping something for the inside i told you this was a super easy card so for the inside i'm just gonna stamp a little bit off on this left corner and then i'm gonna use that again and stamp just a little bit on that right corner for the inside and then you're done with the leaf altogether. You don't even have to use that ink color anymore. You are done with Bermuda Bay. Like how simple was that, right? But it turns out really cute. Then we are going to stamp Season of Thanks. And I am going to stand up when I stamp this time so I can make sure it is straight on the front of the card. <laughs> because I didn't get it straight last time. So... Here I am standing up and I'm gonna do it a little bit lower this time too. There, much better. That looks a little straighter to me. Hopefully it looks straighter to you. I think it looks okay. 
And then now you can also stamp a sentiment on the inside if you want. You've got made this season bring you smiles and love that will last all year. Gather together. So glad to have you in my life and wishing you well. Those all come in this stamp set. I'm going to leave it blank for now until I know exactly what I'm sending it for. Most likely it'll be Thanksgiving, but just in case. I don't want to stamp something in there that I'm, then I won't be able to use the card. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of this copper ribbon. This is the metallic ribbon from the basket weave and metallic ribbon combo. I guess that's what it's called. I've got, that's what I've got written on my <laughs> little spool there because when they come in the combo like that, they don't label the spools. So you're just going to bring enough off from that spool and I'll probably, as usual, end up with a little bit extra because you want to tie a bow. Now I found when I'm tying this ribbon, it ties really, really well, but it's hard to keep that initial, this right here. It's hard to keep this where you want it. So what I do is I just tie it in a knot and then it will stay right where you want it and you don't have to worry about it. Now that you've got that in a knot, of course, if you had done this shorter, you could have just trimmed these off and left it with a knot, but I want a bow. so. I'm going to actually pull it this way so my ribbon goes that way. See if you notice if I when I turn it this way and pull it this way, those strands go that way. But if you turn it and pull it this way, the strands go this way. So whatever way you pull it when you're tying it is the way your tails are going to go. I should say tails, not strands. Alright, we're gonna pull this through. We're gonna try not to twist it because if you twist it then your bow just kind of looks a little bit wonky like mine does right now because I twisted it <laughs> even after I said I wasn't going to let's try to get that twisted back a little bit there we go and just get your loops the way you want them or as close to the way you want them as you can and then take a glue dot Glue dots are my favorite friends when I've got bows because you can use them to hold the bow in place. Just grab a little glue dot, stick it directly under that knot in the bow, and then you're gonna trim your little ends. I just like to do them on an angle. And this one's a little bit longer, so let's cut it down just a little bit. And so there's the front of your card, super duper easy. And again, you can always add rhinestones or something if you want extra on there. And then for the inside, we'll just go ahead and use some adhesive along the edges. And then we will just stick that on the inside. And voila, your card is done. How simple was that, right? A super easy card and you could use really any stamp set that you want but I loved the way the leaves looked on the card that Stampin Up showed us this morning so I thought I've got to do something with leaves as well because I think it just looks fantastic especially going up that angle on the card and if you wanted you can even add another little section here just to add a little bit more to it if you want but I think it looks perfect just like this so I hope you enjoyed tonight's update Tuesday and I hope you make sure you check out the sale and again another thing I should have printed and didn't tomorrow there are select stamp sets that are 15% off when I get done on here I will go ahead and post photos of them I think I put them in my VIP group but I haven't posted them to um, my business page yet so I will post them so you guys can see which stamp sets are on sale and they will be um, on sale just for 24 hours. So it basically starts at 12 a.m. tonight, which would actually be the 23rd, um, mountain time. So you have to go by mountain time. And basically 24 hours and they're 15% off. And it's literally the only time they ever put stamps on sale. So make sure you go and check those out. Go to um, ValerieSmith.StampinUp.net 
click shop now and check those out when you get up in the morning. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great rest of your evening and I will see you next time. Bye.